Before she died last year, aged 99, immobile and in constant pain, Sue Shearer's mum asked her for help to go earlier. She asked me when I went to Mexico to bring back some mogadon so she could have it there as a choice. And I said, well, I can't, mum. A majority of her seniors organisation members want the NT's promised voluntary euthanasia laws. She says, fearful of abuse, many want them to be restrictive, like those in other Australian states. So seniors can uh, really stop, stop worrying and, and really be put at ease that this is really for the terminally ill. Philip Nitschke pioneered world first voluntary euthanasia in 1996 before the NT laws were quashed. He's lobbying the NT to fall out of line with the other Australian states. What we've got now in the other states of Australia with their proudly proclaimed 60 and 70 safeguards is elderly people jumping through hoops to try and just demonstrate eligibility to die. Now that's not a right. He wants laws like Switzerland's. There you can get assistance to die if you satisfy two very important criteria. You must be of sound mind and you must carry out the process yourself. While there's already lobbying for laws which allow maximum freedom, other organisations, including the Catholic Church, are urging the government to put the brakes on. Having open slatter will mean we're going to have a lot more suicides. Darwin's Catholic bishop will lobby for palliative care investment instead. I'd like to see what we can do to help people in the, in the dying process so they will not necessarily need to take their own life. Sue Shearer is among those urging the NT government to ditch its plan to delay the laws until 2024 if it's re-elected. We've waited 27 years. I mean, holy moly, let's just get it done. Jane Barton, ABC News.